registered physiotherapist. Uh, today, what I'd like to talk to you about is uh, the relationship that I find in clinic with regards to uh, hip flexor strains and glute weakness. So a lot of times I'll see patients coming in and they have significant pain uh, within sort of the front area of the hip. So this might be due to a sport of some type, some kind of uh, repetitive strain. Maybe they're uh, a, a dancer of some type, some kind of athletic endeavor in which there's a lot of hip flexion. And when we do these type of movements, uh, there's a tendency to use your, your psoas muscle or your hip flexor muscle with regards to um, these different motions. Now, although doing different stretches and soft tissue release exercises for this muscle is certainly beneficial and can help with regards to pain, what I notice is from a long-term perspective, in a lot of cases, these patients that come in and, and perhaps they've had this issue for several years or it's come and it's gone, uh, they go through periods where it's not really bothering them much and then you know something will perhaps tweak it again and they've been sort of dealing with this over you know potentially several years. What I tend to notice is these patients they also have significant weaknesses within their glute med muscle it's called. So it's one of the muscles just in the side of the buttock here and it's more or less responsible in terms of pelvic stability uh, and also with regards to any sort of uh, hip uh, extension, so pushing off type action. So in a lot of cases, what will happen is the body will compensate for uh, this weakness in the glutes by overusing the psoas muscle or the hip flexor, which essentially it attaches onto the actual the lower lumbar spine area. Uh, and so again, it's really important in terms of stability, as well as uh, weakness in the uh, pelvic floor in a lot of cases. And so today, what I'd like to do is show you a really simple exercise uh, that can be done in order to, again, isolate that glute med muscle along the side here, uh, that can be done in conjunction, right, with these different psoas stretches. So essentially, the, um, that glute med muscle, it's really responsible for uh, hip abduction, it's called. And what that looks like is uh, essentially bringing the leg out to the side. So the idea in terms of the exercise you can do again to isolate this muscle is you can go against, uh, I'm just going to go against the chair here, essentially. And the, the specific um, motion that you want to do in terms of really isolating that muscle is you bring the leg to the side but also slightly back. So it's almost in this 45 degree angle. Now a lot of times if that muscle again if it's weak we might actually compensate by overusing right some of the muscles in the anterior portion of the hip. So when you're doing this for some individuals they'll come just out to the side or even a little bit out in front because of that weakness. So really when you're uh, isolating this muscle you want to be to the side and slightly back, right? So I'm gonna use the chair here to demonstrate this exercise. And basically what it is, it's an isometric exercise in which you're going to push gently against the chair in this case. So a very gentle push. I'm gonna hold for a few seconds. Again, I'm feeling this right on the side portion of my buttock, and then I'm going to uh, let that go. Again, I'm going to push in that side back angle that we talked about, I'm going to hold and then I'm going to relax. And the other great thing is when you're doing this exercise, when you're doing this isometric exercise, you're also actually using the glute med muscle on the other side that's actually stabilizing right, your body as you do that push. If you have any questions, concerns, feel free to leave a comment below and thanks again for watching. Take care.